Obviously, we all know how the midterms went. There was no red wave. A lot of Donald Trump's candidates, uh, both in governor's races and Senate races, uh, really shit the bed uh, and failed to, you know, unite the Republican base with independent voters. A lot of independents swung Democrat in a lot of these key races. So it was a terrible night for Donald Trump, who injected himself into these primaries, which was a big gamble that did not pay off because his candidates did not do well. Ron DeSantis down in Florida, on the other hand, executed the very strategy that a lot of the Trump candidates hoped to. And so now all over right wing media, um, including a lot of Murdoch outlets, which we're going to hear about in a second, um, Ron DeSantis is being talked about as the new leader of the Republican Party. And Donald Trump is being talked about as yesterday's news. And uh, there's very good reason for that. We have results in right. Once the people vote, now you get a sense of where you're at. And this is where people are at. But where we're also at is we are at, at the time we're doing this, what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days from Donald Trump announcing he is running for president again. And so he decided to put out a statement attacking (laughs) Ron DeSantis. And this is this is really fantastic stuff here. Um, Statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States. News Corps, which is Fox, the Wall Street Journal, and the no longer great New York Post. <laughs> no longer, I love that. <laughs> bring back Cole. Who is Cole? That must have been some other guy, right? Who used to run the Post before Murdoch I, bought I it, I would assume. So. I guess so. I don't know so. who that is. Yeah, see, Trump is a New York guy, so he knows all these names, right? right and he's yeah. been on page six for as long as he's basically been alive. Um, yeah. New York Post is all in for Governor Ron DeSanctimonious, an average Republican governor with great public relations who didn't have to close up his state, but did, unlike other Republican governors, whose overall numbers for a Republican were just average, middle of the pack, including COVID, and who has the advantage of sunshine, where people from badly run states up north would just go no matter who the governor was, just like I did. You know, one thing you could tell he writes these himself. You could tell he does not. Have, well, like, well, this writer. one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes they're ghost written and you can tell the difference. No. Yeah. This one is verified. This one yeah. would get the blue check, whether he would have to pay a- for it or not. A- absolutely. Right? I mean, this, absolutely. Was, this is all him right here. Um, Ron came to me in desperate shape in 2017. He was politically dead, losing in a landslide to a very good agriculture commissioner, Adam Putnam, who was loaded up with cash and had great poll numbers. Ron had low approval, bad polls, and no money, but he said that if I would endorse him, he could win. I love how he puts the capital E on endorse, you know. Uh, I didn't know Adam, so I said, let's give it a shot, Ron. When I endorsed him, it was as though, to use a bad term, <laughs> a nuclear <laughs> weapon went off. <laughs> well, and that, and that I, I, you know, that's such a demonstration of how fundamentally stupid he is. Yeah. Just the, the whole thought process there. Yes, well, I know saying nuclear is a bad term, so I'm going to say bad. Yeah, I know it's bad. See, I know that, <laughs> right. but... But I'm going to say it, but I'm, I'm going to show that I know it's bad. So I'm going to say bad term. Like, it's just dumb. I know this is That's a bad metaphor dumb. and bad writing, but I'm going to use it anyway because I'm too lazy to think of something better. Years later, uh, they were the exact words that Adam Putnam used in describing Ron's endorsement. He said, I went from having it made with no competition to immediately getting absolutely clobbered after your endorsement. I then got Ron by the star of the Democrat Party, Andrew Gillum. This is my favorite line. Parentheses, who was later revealed to be a crackhead. <laughs> two, two separate words. <laughs> crackhead. Well, this is two great. Separate words. Two separate words. Crackhead. Two a separate crack words. Head. Right. Capitalized crack, capitalized H on head, and quote marks. A crack head. I mean, this is like, I mean, this is a working man's Shakespeare right here. You know, Shakespeare really took is. these same kind of liberties with the language, you know, misspelling words, using punctuation in, in unconventional ways. A crack head. 
Well, what you know, they, they, make, they make fun go of him now. Go prick thy but face, thou, co, you know, co, lily-livered crackhead. <laughs> Kofeve will be part of the language one exactly, day. Exactly, right, right. He'll coin words and phrases. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Ron by the star of the Democrat Party, who t- was later revealed to be a crackhead, by having two massive rallies with tens of thousands of people at each one. I also fixed his campaign, which had completely fallen apart. I was all in for Ron, and he beat Gillum. All right, here we go. But after the race, when votes were being (laughs) by the corrupt (laughs) process in Broward County, and Ron was going down 10,000 votes a day, along with now Senator Rick Scott, I sent in the FBI and the U.S. attorneys and the immediately ended just prior to them running out of the votes necessary to win. I stopped his from being See? I mean, YouTube's going to have to do something about these rules because if Trump's going to run, we're going to have to talk about yeah, this. I how mean, are you he's talking. Cover? How are we going to do this? How are we well, going to do this? They'll just fuck with the poor schmucks like us and they'll let CNN do whatever they that's want. That's what I mean. Well, that's why we're one step ahead of them. We got. Right. That's why we that's cover right. our ass here. That's You're it. not going to outsmart that's two it. views in this way. Yeah. We know, we know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we're doing. Wait, it, well, that's why they put us in control of the media. <laughs> if there's one thing we know how to do, it's cover our ass. Yeah. Yeah. And now Ron DeSanctimonious is playing games. The fake news asks him if he's going to run if President Trump runs. And he says, I'm only focused on the governor's race. I'm not looking to the future. Well, in terms of loyalty and class, that's really not the right answer. (laughs) In terms of loyalty and class, that's really not the right answer. Two qualities Trump is known. Yeah, for. if there's if there's two qualities Trump is known for, it's loyalty, loyalty and, and class. class. Yeah. This is just like the 2015 to 2016 a media assault collusion when Fox News fought me to the end until I won, and then they couldn't have been nicer or more supportive. The well, Wall Street Journal. True. That is true. No, he's right about that. The Wall Street Journal loved low-energy Jeb Bush and a succession of other people as they rapidly disappeared from sight, finally falling in line with me after I easily knocked them out one by one. We're in uh, exactly the same position now. They will keep coming after us, MAGA, but ultimately we will win. Put America first and make America great again. It's very inspirational. Yeah. Very I like the way all caps at the end make America great again. Yeah, I totally. love when when you look at his his writing on the page. It really is like the craziest fuck you might debate on social media. The way he uses all caps. Oh yeah, weird capitalizations, the weird <laughs> line breaks. Like, yeah, it's like a crazy bastard you'd be debating. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um. um you know, I I. My overall read, I, th- I think I texted this to you today. I forgot, man. I got to get on predict it. I got to place that bet. I'm going to wait. Actually, this is going to be my timing. And and we're not encouraging and, anybody and else I to was do just it. going to say, this is not financial advice. I'm not advising anybody to do this. The day that Trump announces, that's going to be the best day to buy DeSantis. Because there will just be that little knee-jerk bump on Trump's bump, odds right, right, when he right. announces. Boom. I'm buying DeSantis that day. Because Trump's done. He's done. That's I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say it, man. He's done. Um, The way that his candidates performed here, combined with the fact I think people are really underestimating how savvy Ron DeSantis is. He's he has set him up to take on Trump for years. You're not only going to have. um a lot of the Republican base. Ron DeSantis is a Republican that these fucking never Trump people can get behind, right? They're all going to come oh, home sure. to the Republican Party. They don't want to be Democrats. They want to be Republicans. They need a Republican who's not Donald Trump. DeSantis is going to be able to have it both ways. Because of his cultural stance, he'll peel off a lot of the MAGA people who are like, I don't want to lose. They don't like to lose. They want to win. They want to win. And Trump is looking more and more like a loser. He he can't. His whole brand is I win. All right. So he lost that. That's why he has gone with this stop the steal thing. He's not wrong about that, that his brand is so fundamentally tied. Sure to the you it's <laughs> the there we go. Yeah, it's so tied. Well, I think we could say that. 
right? Because we can. We're not. But, yeah. Yeah. Let's just get in the habit, you know. Let's yeah. Make yeah. this work for us. Um. Yeah. Let me make something clear, because Mothra here is going. Desantis is going to start all kinds of wars. Listen. Given what's going on now, I don't think we can really call that a Republican phenomena. I think the Democrats are as likely, if not more likely, to get us into wars. So that's not an argument. But, uh, you know, when I make these predictions, you know, sometimes people think we're supporting DeSantis. This isn't about support. It's about analysis. I, I'm saying that Trump's moment has passed. And not only that, set all this aside, everything else aside. I, I said this on our on our live stream. The deep state will whack Donald Trump before they will let him be the president again. If Donald Trump gets anywhere near the White House, he's going to have an accident. So Trump is not going to be the president again by hook or by crook, period. He is not going to be the president again. So who will? Who's going to have that nomination? It's going to be Ron DeSantis. Well, you know, I was listening to a uh, friend of the show, Michael Savage. Perversion. It's you know, sick. It's degenerate and sick. Famous for lines like a that. A trans with a schmendrick swinging it in a girl's bathroom. Those are some of his finest quotes there on air. Uh, but I was listening to his podcast this afternoon because I was very curious how he responded to the midterms because he was the first right wing media guy to back Trump. He backed Trump the day Trump announced he was running. He said, I'm for Trump. And he's right when he says he was the only one at the time because none of the other, you know, Fox no, News nobody, wasn't for nobody him in the took beginning. him seriously. Right. Yeah. Savage even said he thinks that DeSantis is now the future of the party um, because of these results, because DeSantis proved he could win on Tuesday. And Trump, you know, really gave the impression that his movement is running on fumes. That was the exact phrase that I used in my Substack article, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the movement is just, it doesn't have what it had in 2016. There's no way it really could. There's no way to recreate that magic. Just like the right. sequels are never right. as good as the original movie right. because it's right. something new. Right. It, it has that It novelty. was new. Nobody right. had ever seen a guy go on stage and treat the fellow candidates in a primary that way. Right. But now, right. now, now that's going to be old hat. And also he had the advantage of running against a bunch of clowns. Jeb Bush, right. Chris Christie. It, Ron DeSantis is not those people. Like I, I, I've said this all along, even back then. The idea that Trump has some kind of some kind of mojo magic that makes him win elections was bullshit. He was running against Hillary Clinton. Right, Hillary exactly. Clinton, pretty much anyone with more credibility than Hillary Clinton would have beaten him. It, right. He was the he was a lucky motherfucker. He was lucky in his enemies. He's always been lucky in his enemies. And I'm saying when you're talking about Ron DeSantis, his luck runs out because, listen, we've been living in this post Trump world since 2016. We're forgetting that all these establishment Republicans who are who have ensconced themselves on MSNBC are fundamentally Republicans. As soon as you give them the option of a credible Republican who's not Donald Trump, they're all coming home to the party. All these well, never all Trump I mean, Republicans, look, a Lincoln lot of, some well, of the some, some of them are, are making too much money. money. Now, right. Yeah. Exactly. Nicole Wallace, you know, she'll right. be she'll be over there. But in the end, like David Frum, you know, a guy like that. Yeah, he's probably going to go for. They're going to come home. They're going to yeah. come back to DeSantis, and it's going to reunify the wings of the Republican Party. A DeSantis candidacy will bring a lot of the MAGA people are quietly saying, like voters, yeah, you know, I like Trump, but it's time for somebody else. They don't want to lose. They don't want to lose. They know Trump comes with too much baggage, not to mention the fact they're going to indict him any minute. And again, the Republicans, the Republicans are not like the Democrats. Oh, Hillary's being investigated by the FBI. What could possibly go wrong? Right, right, right. Repub Republicans are not like that. They're going to be like, you know, man, this motherfucker is being indicted. We, we, man, we want to win. And DeSantis is not Mitt Romney. He is acceptable. He will be acceptable to Trump's base. Well, I mean, that's the thing. The thing is they want to win. That's what it all comes down to. And the argument for Trump 2024 uh, was that he could win. He's won before, even though he lost in 2020, he got 75 million votes. That's a lot of votes. That's a very impressive showing. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is, well, we don't really have anybody better. 
Um, he brings out the base like no one else. He drives turn out on our side like no one else. So let's let's ride our horse as far as that horse will take us. That made sense in theory, and it would have made a lot more sense if Walker was able to win on Tuesday, right? If Oz was able to win on Tuesday, Kerry Lake, Blake Masters, if they were all racking up 52, 53, 54% of the vote and putting these Democrats away, then you'd have no GOP primary because Trump's theory of the case would have been proven right. Trumpism would be back and that would be it, right? But that's not how it happened. (laughs) It happened almost the complete opposite of that. The only Trump candidate who had any real success on Tuesday was J.D. Vance. And even J.D. Vance, as I mentioned on our Indie News Network live stream, he pulled about, uh, what was it, 18 points behind Mike DeWine, the Republican governor running in Ohio. You had 18% of Ohio voters voted for DeWine for governor, but voted for Tim Ryan for senator. So even Vance, who was the best of them, really shit the bed. He pulled well behind the non-MAGA candidate. And so that's it. That's it. I mean, game day is game day. You got to win on game day. You don't win on game day, you go home, right? Right. And so that's where they're at now. He's What I see happening is he's going to make his big announcement on Tuesday. And he's going to try to throw the ick onto DeSantis. I just don't think it's going to work because he's playing He's playing a weak hand. As, as you say, yeah, it would have been over if his candidates had cleaned up. His and, hand and- is, I saved you from the agriculture commissioner who was raising a lot of money, and now you have no loyalty and no class because you want to run now. Like, that's right. his only... Right, argument. and Ron, Ron DeSanctimonious, it just doesn't have the, the you know, low-energy Jeb Bush. No, it's not, no. It, 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 it doesn't It doesn't work. It it's doesn't not really Lion's work. Head, Little Marco, yeah, no. It, it, no yeah, and really. it, do- it doesn't really fit. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like... What what are you talking about? He's sanctimonious. What are you what are you talking about? Like the the culture war postures he takes are very popular with your own base. So what are you criticizing him for being sanctimonious about exactly? Yeah, he should have just gone totally blue. He should have just called them like demand tits. Yeah. Demand. <laughs> you ever see him without his shirt on? <laughs> Little estrogen build up in the chest there. <laughs> That's not a that's not a real man. <laughs> that's not, not a, a real man. Yeah, exactly. That, that's not a man. I, instead of fighting Disney, he should be joining them. He should be in their films. <laughs> right, he should be working for Disney. He should be in the Little Mermaid. He talks a good game with all this woke stuff. Meanwhile, he's not a man. He's not a real. When is man? he starting puberty blockers? When you're he's... starting puberty blockers, Ron? Why don't you go work at Disney? <laughs> Why don't you go check tickets at the Disney uh, kiosk? I, I mean, at that point, what does he have to lose, right? Yeah. Well, that um, would actually I, have the benefit of being funny. This is just kind of awkward. The, the, it's it's weird. It's like he's, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely, it's the sequel that is a, a pale shadow of the original. Please clap.